I have made it to Greenland. And in Greenland, we indeed are. I am actually here with Nigel Danson and James Popsis. And it has been a little bit up and down, let's say it like that. <laughs> on the first day, we had clear weather. All the tourists on the boat loved it. As photographers, we are a little bit more like, eh, maybe not the most interesting weather to photograph in. However, when we were sailing out of that fjord, we had the most beautiful light and fog and atmosphere, like really tendrilic clouds and icebergs. And I really got to photograph some minimalist, beautiful and moody eyes. The second day we again made it through all the pack ice and into a fjord that looks absolutely epic to say the least. So Nigel, James and I have been out most of the morning here after breakfast photographing in this beautiful moody and atmospheric morning. Right now we are making our way through the pack ice towards one of the fjords along the eastern Greenland coast. And it looks spectacular from here. We have beautiful tendrilic low hanging clouds. They are covering the tops of the mountains, some of the mountains, but it still looks absolutely gorgeous. So besides photographing some of these ice sheets, as you have just seen me do, I am also playing around with a composition, something like this towards this mountain here in the background where I'm using a long exposure, so a six-stop filter, and that gives me at ISO 50, F16, a shutter speed of two and a half seconds, and it drags out all the eyes, so it comes towards the camera. It looks quite, quite fun. It's not, you know, an award-winning photo, but it's, it's quite interesting to look at. However, because I'm long exposing it and the ship is, of course, moving, the background mountains will also be blurred. So I'm having to take two photos, one with a fast shutter speed and one with a long shutter speed, as to put them together so the background mountains are sharp while the foreground icebergs are being dragged out. So besides flying the drone, we also went into the Zodiacs. So we are out on the Zodiacs and we're photographing a beautiful, beautiful iceberg. There's so much detail in it. So many spikes and small pillars. And it's actually wiggling a little bit in the water. So from time to time, it even shows a little bit more of the underside, which also looks beautiful. It's so blue and parts of it is really like 
crystal ice. So this is definitely a piece of the glacier. It's just beautiful. Right now I'm using the Tamron 50 to 400. Simply zooming in, zooming a little bit back, shooting around F11. Try to get a fast shutter speed. So I'm going between ISO 320 and 640 because I really want to make sure that I have a deep depth of field. And that is why I need to close down the aperture. But this here is just probably the most beautiful iceberg I've ever seen. This here must be my favorite collection of ice photos ever. They are just so soothing and cold and kind of mysterious. One of the easiest ways to really learn and dive into composition is to photograph abstract photos like these. Here you really see the importance of making sure that your edges are clean, that you have some kind of focal point, that your photo is balanced and that there's some kind of interesting visual flow. And if you want to learn even more about composition, be sure to pick up my ebook on exactly that topic. It's very easy to read with plenty of examples so that you get to the point fast. If you're happy about the first one, you can always go ahead and get the second. There are links to both of them down in the description of the video. So we are sailing around in the Zodiac and just stopping at different icebergs. And as we're moving through the fjord, the mountains are changing quite drastically in their shape. So depending on the perspective you're seeing, this one here just is incredible. Like the mountains here are just so dramatic. So we just came by some kind of random ice and used that as a foreground. I also used the polarizing filter because that piece of ice was pretty good as you could see underneath the water. Simply just wide angle on, all the way out at 16 millimeter, F9, ISO 200, just to have a somewhat fast shutter speed. And that's it. After that very successful trip with the Zodiac, we again went up to the deck and sailing out of the fjord, out of the pack ice for the night. I photographed back towards the mountains and I captured this beauty. On the way out through the ice, we caught even more sheets of ice. And this time we also had a little bit of sun shining through. It looked absolutely spectacular.
And we are now at day three here in Greenland and we are photographing out towards this beautiful, beautiful landscape. We have again sailed through the pack ice and into a fjord. We have mountains, we have icebergs and we have mist. Beautiful low hanging mist. It just creates so much atmosphere and depth in the scenes that we capture. And one of the big highlights of today was definitely getting ashore onto an old abandoned meteorological station. So we have made it onto land here in Greenland. We are on a little island and we are at an old abandoned weather station. Now my goal to photograph this area is simply to have a shot with myself on Greenlandic soil and probably with some icebergs like this here in the background. And we have this layer of fog that just looks so good. This area here is James Popsy's paradise. You should have seen him this morning. It was so funny. I'm not much into photographing the huts, but I did get a really nice shot from the drone. Really nice perspective compression with the huts in front, silver oil in the midground, and then the mountains in the background. Looks amazing, if I should say so myself. However, definitely be sure to head over to James's channel and watch all his stuff from this epic trip that we've been on and also head over to Nigel and watch his stuff too. Now we are in Greenland and that means it's polar bear territory. So all our guides and guards are set up a perimeter that we can walk within. They've also cleared the houses of any potential bears in there. So all should be good to roam a little bit around well within that perimeter. Whew, made it <laughs> to the top of this hill and had the most beautiful long lens photo here with John, who is one of the guides, standing on the cliff, looking out over this sea of ice. It looks, yeah, you guessed it, epic. <laughs> I'm shooting at only actually around 100 millimeter. I can zoom a little bit more in, but I want to have a little bit of wiggle room to, to crop in afterwards. And F14, Nice and sharp for this lens. ISO 100 gives me a shutter speed of 1 60th of a second. So yeah, there's really not a whole lot to it. Just a shot of a man on a cliff overlooking the beautiful sea of ice here. For the first time on this trip, I'm actually sweaty all the way up to the top of that rock and all the way back down here, trying to find different perspectives where I can put myself or other people in the photo and get a shot of this beautiful background. I've come almost all the way down to the water, as you can see here, and I'm shooting in this direction. I really like these icebergs here, and there's kind of like a top of a mountain here in the background. And then, of course, I'll have myself on the ridge. I'm trying to include just ever so slightly some of the foreground here just to create a little bit more of a sense of depth in this photo. But putting on the intervalometer and then I'll just run in there, pose, get the shot.
I would say I've gotten some pretty decent photos from Greenland so far. But we again just have like minimalist scenes with icebergs and fog, the icebergs coming in and out just looks beautiful. And right now we are pushing onwards into the fjord and we will hopefully be able to see a big glacier. So we are now heading up towards that glacier front and the landscape here is just <laughs> absolutely breathtaking. Like this here is like a combination of Stocksness, the glacier at the lagoon in Iceland, just way bigger. They are even say Patagonia and we have just the most remarkable mountain peaks that I've probably seen in my entire lifetime. <laughs> it's so stunning and we have wispy clouds, still weather, we have a waterfall that is coming down from a glacier, it's... <sighs> yeah. Because I am a landscape photographer, we of course are going to moan a little bit, so the light is a little bit flat. We could have had a little bit better light, a little bit better clouds, but <laughs> it's just, just here. Have a look at all this amazing landscape. What do you say, Nigel? Well, there's only one thing to say, isn't there? It doesn't get better than this. <laughs> it's incredible. So we have now moved out into the Zodiacs and we're just in this sea of ice and icebergs and fog with soft light coming through. <sighs> Again, absolutely breathtaking. You did a video regarding meditation. <laughs> <laughs> Guide to meditation for sure. <laughs> Is this the best thing ever, James? Pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Not seen, too shabby. I've seen worse. I've definitely seen worse. What are you shooting with there? I've got a 50mm f1.2, which is not massively conventional for a place like this, but I'm just giving it a go. Get my camera to work. Yeah, good luck. How about you, Nigel? Um, well, first, I haven't got my hat on, so you can't film me. Um, and second. <laughs> I'm shooting 14 mil, 4 inch 24 with a polarizer, and yeah, just unreal. You just see light, it's so clear the water. You should be able to back up a touch. I don't think I take my mouth too full saying that we all three struggled a bit on this Zodiac cruise. Here we are in the most incredible, icy, and kind of eerie landscape. Just listen to the sound of the Zodiac sailing through the slush. Our main problem was that the landscape was very busy, so even though I did get this photo that I quite like with the long lens, I did mainly use the wide angle to find some kind of interesting foreground and put emphasis on that. Actually, we spent most of this Zodiac cruise like this, holding the camera close to water and kinda doing some semi-deliberate spray and pray. After curating the 830 photos I got on this cruise, I did find a few I quite liked. Luckily, we had Scott to stare us safely through the eyes. Because Scott is also a photographer and takes photos I could only dream of. Be sure to give him a follow on Instagram. He was good at stopping and giving us time to take our photos when we found something of particular interest, like this incredible scene where you can easily see the small iceberg under the water.
Photographing from a Zodiac is hard. You need to keep the shutter speed relatively fast to capture sharp photos, and you need to be super precise on when you take the photos, which does require a lot of concentration, and that is why you get this voiceover instead of me talking from the boat. We did cruise by a few more incredible scenes like this big iceberg and this smaller iceberg. But it was especially this relatively big chunk of incredibly beautiful and pure eyes which we all found super fascinating. If you want to learn how I edit all these photos, my philosophy around editing, what mistakes to avoid and how to solve them, and the many many different techniques I use to bring the photos to life from the flat raw file, be sure to enroll in my huge Photoshop for Landscape Photographers post-processing course. There is about 30 videos with 19 hours of content, so so much to dig into. There is a link with a $45 discount code down in the description of the video. As always, if you enjoyed this video, I'd highly appreciate a like and a comment, and definitely subscribe if you want to see even more epic landscape photography. Much more will come. Alright guys, so this right here is for the fans of this channel because we're way after this video. But I just want to put the most epic part of this video in here. We're way after dinner. I've had four or five glasses of wine, so if I'm slightly intoxicated, I apologize, but <laughs> we are on our way out of Greenland and we are probably photographing what is the most epic mountains I have ever seen in my life, even when compared to what's on the internet. That says a lot. Patagonia may just be up there. But we're photographing back towards Greenland, and we have icebergs in front. We have these panoramic views, and some of these peaks are... It's really hard to describe but I didn't know about them. I don't know how many people have actually known about them, but oh, wow. I'm not sure something like this really existed on planet Earth, but it's just amazing. Right now we have like a big iceberg right here be behind us and it is really epic. Right now we are on the backside of it compared to the sun because you can see I'm shooting into the sun, which is stupid. But on just like a couple of minutes ago, we were on the other side. Hello, everyone. Uh, we might have to delay the uh, delay the films tonight, <laughs> just for a little while, because we have got a beautiful tabula iceberg that we're going to circumnavigate, and as our goodbye to Greenland. So, if you're not out on deck, I recommend you do. Conditions are absolutely superb, and this will probably be our last big iceberg of the trip. Well worth seeing. See you out there. Yeah. So you heard that? <laughs> you should have seen Nigel and James' faces were like, whoa. Yeah, so we will uh, sail around this one here and get a few more shots, because this place is just wait and see the photos, but this is... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you say, James? I don't have any words. So. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was a great end to a pretty amazing trip. Yep, I concur.
actually besides this iceberg we came by yet another one a few hours later around midnight and we got the most beautiful colors. And a fun detail with this iceberg is that there was actually many birds sitting on top of it which looked really cool. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this little last bit. I'm a little less intoxicated now because wow, do you get high when you have to focus on photography. Uh, yeah, I think that was it. Links in the description as always. Uh, get my ebooks if you want to learn more, enroll in the Photoshop course. See you, see, see you in Iceland. <laughs>